Hi, I'm Ian Chang. I'm a drummer, composer, and producer, and you might know me from a band called Sun Lux, but you also might not. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> I've played drums with a lot of different artists over the years. Body Language, Matthew Deere, Moses Sumney, and I'm a permanent member of the band Sun Lux. One thing that I'm known for as a drummer is playing beats and writing beats that are pretty warped and irregular. I'm really flirting with playing in and out of time and kind of like taking time and making it fall apart and come back together again. Woo! <laughs> Things like that. Musically, the thing that has always made me the most excited is anytime I hear something strange but familiar. Especially if it maintains an emotional core music that kind of is rooted in certain song structures, but is kind of warping the different aspects of it to make it feel fresh and make it feel exciting. Whenever I hear music that kind of ticks those boxes for me, it gives me this feeling that anything's possible, which I think is why a lot of stuff that I listen to could be categorized as like some sort of experimental pop. In this course, I'm going to show you how to strengthen your relationship with time and also be able to really mess with it. How to use displacements in rhythm, use different types of grids, float in and out of time, and how one simple idea can be turned into a lifetime of practice and it's going to add excitement to your arsenal of beat making. One of the things I'm very excited to do in this course is talk about how Drummers can be inspired by beat makers and producers can be inspired by the acoustic kind of approach to drumming. For me, they're both super interesting and I don't think it's an either or thing. Recognizing that there's so many different flavors and colors and kind of feelings to different types of expressions of beat is an exciting thing and there's a lot of dialogue back and forth between those two kind of processes that are really interesting to me. Hi, I'm Ian Chang, and this is my course on how to make more interesting beats for Soundfly.